قلول 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 ke motlotlo gona mo Afrika Afrika ke nna e seng ka letso teme le mala ngwao ya me ke si kokotelo same Jaka setlhare se se midi nilele e anaming boteng jo khubu ya Afrika Khona mo Afrika ke go ipelela mifuta ya bomi ke le me wa mo Afrika Kirkanya Kabunti Ketita Kebuki Kanta Amuri Wami Kimu Afrika A few months after I started playing music, I also started writing songs. And the first song that I wrote was written on an acoustic guitar, it was called Meadow Blue. And I found that writing music was a great way for me to just play, play with words, play with rhythm, with rhyme, with... It was just amazing. But I also discovered that the more I was writing, the easier it became. It was almost as if my brain snapped into a, a place where the words just started flowing. Now that I'm spending more time writing books, I've published five books in the last six years, my brain doesn't quite slip into that lyric writing mode as easily because writing books is just a little bit different and it just forms a different process for me. But I know that the music's there. I've still got 20 or 30 songs that are partially written and one day I'm sure I will go back to writing that music. So this is a song called Real World. So my fingers clearly aren't talking to my fingers.
process of how I wrote one of my songs. I've never had a set formula for writing songs. Um, it's, it's kind of a bit that I discover a bit of music and it fits with some words that I've got or something happens and there's a little bit of magic involved there and it, it just comes together. But what I can do is to tell you a little bit about one song that I wrote, because this is one that I wrote in what even for me seemed a slightly unusual way. I was, it's a song called Here Be Dragons, and the term Here Be Dragons comes off old maps. Back in the days when a lot of the world wasn't mapped, wasn't known, wasn't charted, and people drawing up those old maps would draw these pictures of dragons and big snake type beasts with wings and put the words, here be dragons, meaning it's unknown territory. There might be unknown dangers. And for me being blind, the world's a little bit like that because well, I only know for certain what is in my immediate reach or the reach of my white cane or what I can read through my guide dog. So here be dragons is a term that is particularly relevant to me because of my visual impairment. But I'm not talking about visual impairment right now. I want to talk about how I wrote the song and it started one morning, I was just playing around on my guitar, as I often did, waiting for the time when I had to get ready to go and catch a train to work in Simon's Town. And I found a guitar riff that went like this. And then I went and started going to work. As I was walking down the main road, I found this playing in my brain over and over. And this is really what became the verse. The words of the first verse really come from what I was experiencing of the day around me using my other senses. It was a beautiful early summer's day in Cape Town. It was warm but not hot. The wind wasn't blowing, it was so still. And when I play the verse of the song, you'll see how that translated into the words of the first verse. I got to the train station and there on the platform, I discovered the chorus. Okay, I know that sounds a bit strange, but I want you to understand what for me, a train platform is like. I use sound to orientate myself in the world. And when a train comes screeching into the platform, I started referring to that as being a bit like a, a ravaging dragon, fire-breathing dragon that I'm sweeping into the station and then juddering and it was a pretty panic-stricken experience for me because all I could hear was the train and I tried to pick that up in the chorus the the dragon the the unknowingness the the, the panic the the power of the train that was lying in front of me from there the words I wrote for the chorus, I wrote on the train down to Simon's Town. I got to work, turned on my computer, typed them up, and spent the rest of the day where I should have been working, constructing a second verse and constructing the song. And then when I got home that evening, I found some music to go behind the chorus. So that's a little bit about how I wrote Dragons. But I want to play you a little bit of that song so you can see how that story translated into a song for me. This is 
Here be dragons. enjoyed this little introduction to one of my songs. So, for me, the biggest challenge in creating music on, playing music on keyboard, is that I have very small hands. So where my husband can reach, reach an octave and a half, I struggle to get even an octave. And that means that that's going to have an impact on what I'm able to play. Because I use the sense of touch to feel where I am in comparison to the different keys on the keyboard. But I, I guess through practice, through repetition, you sort of get to know and feel where you are and what your fingers ought to be doing. The piece that I'm going to play a little bit of is originally was written on guitar, but it never really worked for me as a guitar song. And somehow I just heard it differently in my head. And then one day I just tried it on keyboard and it just worked a lot better. So I, I I don't know that I remember the, the, the words to it because I haven't actually done it as a recording for many, many years. But this is a song called Here We Stand.
Some people find it very odd that even though I'm blind, I still have to watch what I'm doing when I'm playing guitar or when I'm playing keyboard. So you might have noticed my head kind of moving to see what my fingers were doing. And I don't know why I still do that. You know, I've, I've been blind a lot longer than I was sighted. But somehow, if I can't see the keyboard or the guitar, I get confused. And it's just one of the things that is just odd about the way I work. Okay, so that's the keyboard. <laughs>